Hi everybody, it's Catherine within the Pink Designs. I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, my project today is a gift hold, a gift card holder treat box. Okay, uh, I'm using the Warmest Heart bundle, and I decided to do a Christmas holiday theme with it. I'm also using the Radiating Stitches dies for this piece right here and inside here. Now this box you can either tie the ribbon around it to close or you can tuck it in. Either way or you could do both but when you tie the ribbon it tends to push this down in so I would say either or but I did put this in case the recipient wants to take the ribbon out and just have it as a box that would be great and you could also instead of running the ribbon this way you could run it to the side and have the top. All right but in here I have a gift card this is an Easter Starbucks it's been a while because I just used the app since I've gotten an actual gift card from there and two Ghirardelli's all right it measures four and a quarter high two and three quarters wide and and three quarters right here all right so you can fit a nice little snack in there but I made it mostly for the gift card and I wanted to add a little snack too all righty Okay, so this is my host code. Please put that in for any purchases under 150, not including your tax and shipping. All right, so for this project, we need a piece of old olive cardstock that is seven and a half by six and a half. We need an extra scrap of old olive to do some stamping, poppy parade to do some stamping. And this is from the Radiating Stitches dies. I used the shimmer paper, which is a little bit thin. So, and I popped it up. So I just put a piece of basic white cardstock on the back, just a scrap I had. If you can see it's a little bit shorter um, to keep it a little stiff for the dimensionals. All right, and this is from the Radiating Stitches dies, but it's a rectangle that ma measures two by three and three eighths. Okay, then the DSP is from the Merry Bold and Bright collection of paper and we need two pieces that are two and a half by four two pieces that are one half by four and two pieces that are one half by two and a half and i also die cut the shape here from the die from the warmest heart dies out of old olive and the, the dies are nice they have you can either do this type of a thermos with the cap or you can cut out the stamped version and this has this little scene with the sun and the and mountains kind of a rainbow this is mountains again with the moon get well soon thanks you warm my heart and this is flowers and a little sunshine very cute and just so you know this actual piece that i cut out it cuts out the cutest little leaves you get four with each time you cut it out so i was thinking if i did this one i might use those leaves with it that come out of the middle <laughs> all right okay i'm gonna get my simply scored and we're gonna start on the seven and a half inch side And score at three quarters, three and a half, four and a quarter, and seven. Then turn it to the six and a half inch side and score at three quarters, five, and five and three quarters. All right, now you just want to fold and burnish all of your score lines. Okay, and how this is, is there is a half inch rectangle over here and there are three quarter inch strips on the bottom and over here and then two three quarter inch strips at the top. And this is what we're going to be doing. Okay, so we're going to start over here. We're going to go to the first score line to the first score line and wedge the square. 
go to the next score line, cut it to the first score line, and the next score line, cut it to the first score line, and wedge that square. Okay, go to the next score line, cut it to the first score line, and wedge up into that skinny rectangle. That's the half inch one. Okay, turn that half inch one to the other side. And we're gonna start over here again. And what we're gonna do is count to the second score line and cut up to the second score line. And then take these four pieces off. I take the score line with it so it's nice and smooth. And then wedge up into that skinny rectangle right here. Okay, go to the next score line cut it to the second score line, take off the bottom square, and wedge the one that's left there. Okay, we're gonna leave these two rectangles alone. So go to the next score line, cut it to the second score line, take off the bottom a square, and wedge both sides of this one. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna do is round the corners of this top piece here. And that's what your cardstock should look like after you're done scoring and cutting. Okay, now we're going to put tear and tape next to the score line on what's left of that half inch rectangle. I'll use my take your pick tool to get the backing up. Okay, flip it over, flip over the side with the tape and flip over the side to meet it other side. Okay, so this is our back right here with that seam. And just put a dot of glue on this. Not a lot, because on my first one I put too much and it squeezed into the bottom. Alright, and then pull the back flap down and then put some on this flap and push that one forward. Make sure everything is nice and straight together here. Make sure that you push down on those side tabs. Okay, and that's your box. Now at this point, you can put your DSP on and take a little semicircle out of there. If you wanna have it closed, it'll be much easier to open it if you have that circle there. I'm going to just put it on the back so it'll be fine. Okay, so now I need my DSP. Merry, bold, and bright. And the two pieces that are two and a half by four go on the front and the back. Two and a half by one half on the short sides and four by one half on the long sides. And I'm gonna put them all on with liquid glue. Okay, so now we're just gonna leave that to dry and we're gonna do our stamping. Okay, so I have the Poppy Parade and the Old Olive Scraps and we're going to stamp one of these on each, one of the outline of the thermos okay and then on this piece here we're going to use poppy parade and the kind of it kind of looks like plaid to me i don't think it is it's probably an a old-fashioned thermos look but i'm going to stamp poppy parade on the poppy parade and it just leaves a nice light impression on there okay and then I have to cut them out with this die, okay? And I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. All right, and then what I'm gonna do, I need my scissors, and I'm just gonna cut right above this bolder, the boldest line. I'm gonna cut that cap right off. And I'm going to 
glue this right on top of the other one of the green one okay and then I'm gonna get this reminds me of something from the 70s that was in my parents house <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna put tiny dots of glue on this so it doesn't squeeze out and I'm just gonna fit this over I'm just going to kind of center it in between this but among this bottom piece here just like that okay let me show you all right now I'm gonna get I would put in my gift card and my candy of whichever whatever ones you want and I'm going to wrap the ribbon this is the iridescent ribbon this year it's much softer than last year I think it's a little bit wider too but it's much easier to work with than last year's last year's wasn't too bad but it was kind of stiff and then I'm just going to tie a nice bow on the top to kind of towards the front if you can make it if you can't you can't I think this is a really good gift if you give any a little gift card or something to the postman or the garbage man or anybody teachers anything like that doesn't take too much time you can mass produce the the stamping very easily okay and then I'm just gonna snip off some of the extra this wants to go this way so I'm going to change it to that okay and then make sure this is nice in the middle and I'm going to get some dimensionals Ooh, I'm not putting it on that almost forgot I'm going to get my circle now this is actually the shimmer paper from last year it was the six by six this year they're selling a textured shimmer paper that comes in three colors and white is one of them okay so i'm using what i had because i didn't have the nice ones yet all right so i'm just going to put dimensionals on top of this excuse my nails i have to get them done this week for a nice my niece's engagement party so i didn't want to do them because kiss you know why bother if a professional is going to do them for you <laughs> why bother doing them yourself okay and then I'm just going to center this first and then we'll put this centered on top a little crooked there we go all right and then for the final touches now the unfortunately these little snowflakes are sold out they were a release um an online release and they sold out i guess in october september sometime maybe and i'm gonna just put one of them if you don't have these you can put more of these other things i'm gonna put on i'm gonna put one right in the middle they, these were adhesive bat snowflakes is what they were and then I'm going to use iridescent discs and we're going to use the poppy parade ones and you could put one there if you want or a couple on the bottom and I'm going to put one on the, there one over here on the cap and then one in the middle I like these discs they're like sequins but they don't pop around like the other ones the regular sequins all right and that's it i hope you like this i love doing this one it was a really fun one to make and i think i am going to make a bunch of these for people in my life <laughs> all right have a great day and i will see you tomorrow bye